Uh, kia ora koutou katoa, no mai hari mai, welcome to the A grade final for Mixed Nationals for New Zealand Men's and Mixed Netball Association coming to you live from Netball Waitakere. We've got a great lineup here today with North Harbour taking on Wellington. Our two umpires for this afternoon are Angela Armstrong Lush and Corey Nichols. Our starting lineups today for North Harbour in goal shoot we've got Maru, goal attack Tina, wing attack Anna, centre Kevin, wing defence Tiana, goal defence Sulu and goal keep Dan. Sitting in the reserve there for North Harbour we've got Tori, Pips, Ryan, Tyra and Michelle. Today for North Harbour we've got uh, Sarah McLeod starting at goal shoot, we have Thompson at goal attack, we have Charlotte at wing attack. Uh, Timatahi Apo Safari at centre. We've got Bridey at wing defence, Kyle at goal defence, and at goal keep we have Abby. In reserves there we've got Terehe, Henry, Joshua, Danika, and Mai Rangi. Our captain for uh, Wellington today is Kyle, and uh, no captain there listed for uh, North Harbour. <laughs> Won't be long now until we're, our players are taking the court. This has been a very hotly contested um, A grade pool throughout the Easter weekend. I understand that Wellington have come through the pool matches undefeated. Um, and I imagine uh, North Harbour, actually, this team, there are two North Harbour teams in the A grade this year. Um, they took a defeat to their other North Harbour team in pool player, is my understanding. Um, but they came through victorious in the semi-final today against that same team. I've got my co-host here today with me, Junior Manapori. Uh, kia ora, Junior. Kia ora, Byron. Pleasure to be here and hosting this A-grade final with you. This is going to be a hotly contested match, as Byron had mentioned earlier. We have, we're, on, we're on show today. We've actually got some of New Zealand's best mixed netballers and men's netballers on court, even a silver fern in Sully Fitzpatrick, so we are very fortunate to have quality players. Straight away the there we've got a tip from Kyle Owens and Wellington take position. Oh, and two players there take a tumble, just contesting for the ball. Looks like everyone's coming up smiles there, which is great. Even in the final, first one with smiles on the floor. So a little bit different to our other formats today. The A grade do play a 15 minute quarter. Um, so we've got four 15s today. Bit of an air ball there from Thompson to start us off. Quick transition from Harbour on defence onto attack. That was slack, wasn't it? Straight through court, no qualms whatsoever. I watched both of these teams in their semi finals this morning and it just seems to operate at a different pace to the rest of the grades. Um, every movement seems deliberate. Every play of the ball, every angle of the ball. And we have Delamere on song with his long range shooting. It's lovely to see him back. <laughs> oh, trying to thread the needle there. Nearly did it. Good comms there between uh, Dan Rich and Sulu Fitzpatrick, just calling that Sulu needs to come drop to the base. I've never seen a retired Silver Fern at a mixed nationals before, Junior. Is this a common occurrence? 
We do actually, we've been fortunate to have a few players come through um, mixed nationals over the last 20 years, uh, namely players that we've actually had previously, Sophia Henwick from Christchurch, we had Charlotte Alley this week, and Palmer Yuane. Oh, it looks like the goal attack for Harbour, Tarantina has gone down injured. We hope that it's not too serious. Looking at the slow play um, from both teams, as you said, in the semi-final, Byron, we have strong players who play the game very well with structure and with flair and with the ability to actually make those decisions very quickly on court and the adjustments and conversations that they have within their teams, both in their huddle and on court. It's really beautiful to watch. Yeah, it really is. Both teams here are just going to have to recamp, settle... Um, and then get out there when the court's available to continue play. I know that the North Harbour team have absolute depth right throughout their bench, so whilst I'm sure this will be a significant loss, um, they'll have someone waiting in the wings ready to um, take the court in the goal attack bib. What's also interesting about this, what quite a bit of a contrast between the two sides in terms of Wellington, we have these young up and coming players coming through and then we've got the experience of North Harbour that actually come into this tournament worth years of experience and so this is going to be a great um, contest. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. that Tarantina is well and she's getting up. Sarah Michelle has to be there just to just to be sure that she's safe as she comes off court and she receives uh, calls from everyone here. We wish her well. Definitely. Round of applause there um, from the crowd as well, just sharing their appreciation for the player and wishing her all the mm. best. Tarantina has been a stalwart of mixed netball for a very long time and so she will be a loss, but as you said Byron, they've got depth here and so I'm sure with Tori Williams coming on at goal attack, um, we'll just add that experience and start. Turnover from the Harbour Defence. Great transition on attack from the harbour. Oh, got out of court there, a little bit, a foot or two. I have to say I um, played in the B grade final earlier today and I was guilty of taking the ball completely out of court there. <laughs> um, I, thought it, okay. I thought it was a blessing <laughs> to have um, a court that really only had one line uh, painted on it, but I think I'm a bit more used to seeing both a basketball and a netball sideline. I need to have a double line to just really define where the, where the space was. But I'm glad to know that I'm not the only player that's <laughs> fallen into that trap. A little bit of a missed pass there, picked up by Wellington. Thompson finishes that one off. Thompson Matuku, who's renowned for his long range shooting and the New Zealand Men's and Mixed Player of the Year. Yeah. We're very lucky to right. actually have someone come through of that strength that he brings to the game. And it's such a beautiful personality and just interested and keen to play the game. And That's he right. brings his skills. Back-to-back -back champions for Fast Five as well. Thompson was a part of that team, both teams. Great setup from the Wellington defence on centre pass with their wall, pushing the Harbour players back. 
this will be a hotly contested uh, match between Kevin Bell and Safari Hines. There's going to be lots of great battles out there today. Yeah, there Rome. are some really good matchups out there on court. Absolutely. Um, yeah, there's, there's absolute strength right throughout the court. Great movement from the goal shoot there from Wellington. Sarah. An excellent rebound over the top. Thompson to pull that ball in. Breaking there from Wellington. Ball not passed into space. Not into the right place, was not, about, not enough length on that pass. Turned over from Hines. Safari knew it though. Um, didn't really want to pick the ball up, but didn't see any other option. Bit overcooked there. A few errors creeping into the game either. I'm sure that um, the players on court will, will ease into and find a bit of a groove mm. as the play progresses. Interpretation of the short pass roll again, mm. featuring. The umpires, Corey and Angela, are conferring with each other and having a discussion about what the call will look like. Two of them. Most experienced umpires in the game. Very fortunate to have their experience at ANZ Premiership level and international level as well. Yeah. I've been fortunate to spend some time in the umpire control room today and I've seen and heard um, both Corey and Angela um, providing some mentoring to the other umpires as well. So it's great that that support and collegiality is available amongst the umpire ranks as well. Contesting and rebound from Kyle. And Abby Russell, goalkeeper for Wellington. The difficulty for North Harbour there is that if they're unfortunately going to miss a ball, which happens to the best of us, mm. if you're going to have an aerial ball sitting there, Kyle Owens, 99 times out of 100, is going to pluck that in and take position. Mm. We have the first technical change of the game. We have Sarah and Michelle Hanson by our entering the court at goal shoot. And Maru moves into goal attack. Maru Dalamia. Sarah and Michelle is an absolute stalwart of um, men's and mixed netball. In her earlier commentary, she commented that. I've been for 20 years and I look no day over 12 years so <laughs> I will take that and she's not over 10 years right there we go <laughs>
You can see the tactic there from Sarah Michelle in order to um, not be infringed for the short pass rule is to pull the hands back very quickly. Um, yeah, in my conferring with umpires over the weekend, it was certainly around the distance between the hands of both the passer and the receiver, um, not the the distance that the ball travels, which is a, a common misconception currently. Yeah, absolutely. Turnover again for And it is right, you're right, Byron. It's that interpretation around the short pass ruling from hand to hand and not the distance of the feet and what's can in the body connected, and whether it be a hand or the thing to get through. So that's Wellington up by two currently, eight points to six. We've got just under five minutes left to play. Junior, what do you think it's going to take here for one of these teams to crack the other one? Yeah, cool, calm and composed, eh? To actually work through, show a lot of patience, yeah. and but just making sure the movements are strong drives, the pass options to the ball and that relentless defensive pressure required. We have an offside call from the wing attack. Yep. Charlotte Tuala. Kevin Bell just twinkle toes there on that sideline. That quick one too between Michelle and Sarah Michelle and Madhu. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Poetry absolutely. in motion. Absolutely, and that combination that's been playing for a few years. Heads were down from the defenders. A few years? I think we that's that's putting it lightly, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't want to get in trouble by that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pinning Sarah Michelle to the baseline, got the in line to her, forced the turnover. Great work from the Wellington defence. from Thompson. Mm. Good pressure on the ball there from um, Kyle Owens. Picked up by Safari. It appears we have some players on court also that think they're aspiring umpires. Great collect there from Thompson and finishes it off nicely. Again, those twinkle toes. Got Wellington hit by two with one minute to play. Missing a change here with Citizen Patrick coming off.
And is that Tori coming on there, Virginia? Yep, Tori Williams. She switched into goal defense. Got to be adaptable at this level. You definitely do, yeah. Makes, does, it's not necessarily just about one position. Could be up to two, up to three even. Yeah, that's right. You can tell by the different defensive pressure put on by the both defensive ends in the circle that our shooters are actually missing, which is a great thing defensively, right, Byron? Yeah, that's, that's exactly right, and it probably illustrates why the, the score is quite low, really, for 15 minutes of netball. Yeah, mm. We've only um, clocked up 18 points, now 19 points um, in total. Rounding out the first quarter, Wellington up by one, 10 points to nine, and we'll be back with you shortly for quarter two. Uh, kia ora koutou katoa, welcome back to the A-grade final of Mixed Nationals here at Netball Waitakere. Uh, we've got North Harbour taking on Wellington. Wellington up by one, 10 points to nine. What have you seen so far, Junior? Oh, look, it's a, been a real me measured approach in terms of working each other out in terms of what strengths that each team brings and also looking at what does that look like and being measured in the approach in the game that they're playing. So that's been really lovely to watch. And we have Tarantina, who has actually re-entered the game at Wing Attack. Oh, she's tried her, she's tried her knee and she's unable to take the court. Well, that's not an ideal outcome. It seems pretty good, though, that she felt comfortable to come back on court and mm. give it a go. Yes. Um, that there is a pinpoint accurate pass into uh, Thompson there. Both defenders had their eye on the ball and got to it, but just reached Thompson's fingertips before anyone else's. Lovely through court play here from Wellington. They're looking at two options in front of them at all times. One, one that's close to them, one that's far away from them. So they can both play that short game but also play with width and depth. It also actually speaks to the work that, that we understand as coaches and as players around channels and the importance of actually using the channels and the lines to be able to actually utilise the, the court space so well. And Wellington were great exponents of that in that transition game. Here we see Tyra entering the game. Kevin Bell taking a rest. Again, we have some wonderful experience in Tyra coming onto court. She'll bring that energy, that speed, that spark, and the X factor that she brings to the game. Great punch through the middle from Sarah McLeod Venu. Beautiful work. Good finish from Thompson. We breathed there, wasn't sure if that was going to sink, <laughs> but it did, did eventually. You could see that in his reaction yeah. too, right? Eh? Lovely tip as well. Not just there to shoot the goals, but also put that defensive mm. pressure on over the ball. Go. We can see the competition's ramped up here. Pressure being put on. Great 
great calmness from Tyra. Great patience to let the ball go and into the space. Mm. Empire deeming that Tyra went offside there. The eagerness to actually contest for every ball, every pass. Good front option there. Venu not happy to take the shot. Getting a bit physical out there. The players are holding strong in what they all do, which is fantastic to see as well. Excellent patience from Wellington. Willing to move the ball around, go back if needed, reset, explore their options. And there we go, pressure off that centre half, paying off as well. Great pick up from Anna at wing defence. Willing that ball into Maru. Nod, nod, nod. Yep, I'm giving it, I'm giving it. Yeah. But good tip away there. Oh, umpire deeming his obstruction. Just the deception of the pass from Tyra to actually fake that one and yeah. actually put it into the space into the circle to Maru. Defenders and working really hard to come on and off the body, switching just to confuse the, the, the attack of the shooters. Lovely pass in there. Great work from Fitzpatrick. She shut down the baseline and forced Thompson away from the ball. Great work from this former silver field. Bit of miscommunication there though. Mm. Ball hitting out the sideline. So there's been an advance of penalty. Yep. Umpire do mean that that movement was deliberate. Again, great pressure from Dan Rich, yeah. forcing the forcing the error. Finding it quite tricky to get the ball through court through that defensive mm. pressure that Wellington are putting on and they're attacking end. Yeah, that Tyra. pressure from Wellington was actually outstanding to actually stifle the um, harbour to look at the options coming through court on attack. Yeah. Seeing the attire receiving a warning, um, so another rule change there being that uh, cautions no longer exist in the game anymore. So umpires um, you know, deeming if a player's you know, continually infringing, or that the sanction that they're placing there is they're deeming that the, the infringement is enough to sanction a warning straight away. Quite a range of changes there uh, for North Harbour in their attacking end. Yes, we have Pip Tobia in that goal attack now, and Sarah Michelle has moved to wing attack. And we also have Ryan Grimmer at goal defence coming on. 
uh, tactical change with Dan Rich going off. Great umpiring there from uh, Corey Nichols, just allowing that play to continue. Um, deeming advantage there. We see Kyle come through there, and one of the strengths is picking up any high ball going in. Great work, Owens. Yeah. He'd have to be a very courageous player to be willing to put a ball that high around him. Still a fairly tight contest at 18 points to 14. Wellington still up, just nudging a little bit further ahead than what they were before. Yeah, we see Sarah Matavenu. She hasn't put up a goal in the last couple of minutes, and whether she's hesitant on her shot with the pressure. I've seen her throughout the last three days of tournament and she can put them up and she's a very smart player so yeah. it'd be nice to see Sarah actually have a go and put these goals up. Lovely high art on Thompson's shot there. Such a beautiful shot, and it's so hard to contest for a defender, because it's so high. It just reminds me of the Australian type of shooters in, in terms of their high shot. Yeah. They're great exponents of that that's right. high shot yeah. Australian. And that's really been kind of curated out of the need for you know very tall defenders that are able to get a tip to the ball. Mm. There's really no option or ability to get a tip to a high arc and shot like that. So how do we stop that defensively? How, you know, what could we do here as a defensive line? Yeah, I mean, I suppose um, defenders holding their space, pushing shooters out to, to make them take those longer range shots. Um, but of course, defensive pressure right throughout the court. Arms over the ball. Um, both Sarah and Thompson are quite tall players, mm. so yeah, you can you can bet there's going to be some fairly high balls that will go into them. Mm. But if we've got mid quarters that are putting their hand over the ball, putting that pressure on, um, yeah, those are going to be your best chances. Quarters are working really hard to get to circle. They're, they're passing, they're driving, they're reoffering, they're clearing. It's just been lovely to see those fundamentals of the game being played. Ball and calm, Madhu Dalamia. Yeah. Great use of the triangle. Excellent for Sarah to be running that top of the circle as well. Mm. And just pull one defender off Thompson, leaving a one-on-one -on -one contest. Yeah. And the height's going to win there every day. Mm. And that's probably why you're seeing that change. Yeah. Dan's got that little bit more height mm. um, to square up on Thompson. It's been actually lovely to see the tactical change rule come in and it's been yeah. really great rather than having to wait or wait for an injury call to happen before a change can happen. So it's great that the International Nipple Federation have looked at that 
that extra height that Dan Rich brings to the game and uh, exactly resulted in the turnover. Great release of pass from Sarah a Michelle. Beautiful look down the court. Mm, early, she looked early. Probably speaks to that combination playing quite a bit of netball together as Absolutely. well, knowing where they're going to be. 100%. So the call has gone against Brady Burns in that wing defence um, for that, the re for re retaliation. Angela Armstrong, Armstrong Lush deemed it to be in retaliation and actually putting Kevin going for the ball. Great to see the umpires taking control there. Mm. Game management's really, really important at a level like this. Absolutely. Um, you know, we all have a bit of white line fever at times. Yeah, we do. And, we um, do. No. Players just want to do the best for their team. Mm. Harper are doing a great job of actually covering the middle and actually shutting down that middle yeah. drive um, from Wellington, from the midcourt. You're doing a really good job, both Anna and Kevin, closing down that middle channel. They're really compressing play to this half of the court, mm. aren't they? I mean, the whole other half of the court yeah. that's just not yeah. being utilised. Absolutely, which is forcing the higher pass across court, yeah. which is what the defenders are looking for. Fitzpatrick. But just under 30 seconds to play. Wellington up by two, but with Harbour in possession of the ball. Over 10 seconds left. Great hold from Maru. He waited for the ball to go into that space, then he moved into it. Harbour's ball. And there we have it. End of the second quarter. Wellington up by one, 23 points to 22. We'll be back in the second half very soon. Tēnā tata katoa, no mai harimai. Welcome back to the A grade final here at Mixed Nationals over Easter weekend at Waitakere Netball. Um, we've got Wellington taking on North Harbour. We've just concluded the first half with Wellington one point ahead, 23 points to 22. What have you seen so far, Junior? Yeah, look, it's been a tightly contested one, eh? It's been toe for toe, and I think in the first quarter, and in second quarter, and second and first half, and also it's been like tennis-like match, you know, turnovers have happened, and it's been turned over again, so be good to see and I don't think both teams have found their rhythm yet and still working themselves out so I'm really looking forward to the second half yeah I agree I think I mean Wellington have held control for a good portion of the game mm. but just near the end of that second quarter North Harbour uh, secured a few turnovers and they've really pulled it back mm. if they can convert this ball here we're all tied up at 23 points apiece and that's the start they would want yeah and there we have it. Got a bit trying at the end of the second half there. At the end of the mm. second quarter, I beg your pardon. Mm. Um, and I just saw over the balcony here a week um, conference between the two team captains and our umpires. Which is great just to, you know, calm heads, clarify rules, um, ensure that you know, we're all playing the... Um, within, within the, the game... Within, within the game parameters, yeah. yeah. 
and I could see both captains having a bit of a, um, a drive at one another as well, and, and it's all um, in good fun and good humour. So um, whilst there might be absolute competitors on the court, um, many of these players are friends off the court as well. And the great thing is we look, we talk about the players, we talk about what they bring to the game, but we also think about the, the coaches as well. Ali College and the Vitoa Ali Ivaa, both respected coaches are from their areas and they come with knowledge and experience and so we've very been very blessed over the weekend to see massive um, all these coaches coming through and these are the best coaches in the country yeah. um, taking to court today. Yeah. And saying that some of these coaches also are coaches for uh, uh, New Zealand men's and mixed netball teams um, and national sides. Mm. So they've been, um, whilst they haven't, well, when they haven't been out there coaching their provincial sides, they've also been selecting, taking notes, um, you know, analysing play, um, all in the best interest of New Zealand netball uh, in general. Mm. We've been very, very lucky to have Helene Wilson, our New Zealand Open men's coach, here this weekend. And she was here today and speaking with her earlier and just looking at the calibre and the talent that we have within mixed netball within the region That's right. from all over the country. She's just been enjoying and seeing the, the style, the netball, talented players that we have on display this weekend. It's been fantastic. She's really enjoyed her time. Yeah. Great tip there from Kyle Owens. Tried to get a ball over the top there to Maru, um, North Harbour did, but Kyle read that absolutely like a book. And that's what he's best at, mm. that and aerial ball. that creation of actually that diagonal pass, that cross-court pass, setting it up. Wellington did a great job of actually forcing them into a channel and then having to make that long pass hub and force them into it, which created the turnover. Which we see Harbour have actually picked up a turnover. Yeah. Lovely eye under the circle there. Mm. Got a change here with Safari moving into wing attack from centre and then a new centre on. Great work from Sarah. Wonderful work. Tussle for the ball there. Mm. You can tell that the you can tell that the crowd are engaged because you can hear the oohs yeah, and the ahs right. and the ooh. Yep. What's going to happen here? The uh, new Wellington centre there, Danica Ferriso, mm. no, uh, making her presence known on court. Just letting Kevin Bell know, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Let's play. Sarah's coming off now. She's had a quiet one, Sarah, in this particular game, um, through leading into this final, and she's been quite dominant. And so, whether she's coming off for a rest to relook at the game. Lovely, lovely insert there from Dan Rich. 
absolutely saw that coming a mile away. Pinpoint accuracy of the movement. And a clutch shot from Maru Dalamir at the other end finished that off. Tara coming back into the game at centre with Kevin Bell taking a rest. Maru's really got his eye on uh, this afternoon. He's got his eye on. Yeah, very accurate shooting. Still, it's Patrick being warned. Just going to have the court wiped here. Just to settle things down a That's little right, bit. That's right, exactly. Sensing a bit of a momentum swing here, though. Mm. Topia into Maru needs a little bit more push on there. Yeah. There we have it. North Harbour are up by two. Eight minutes left to play in this third quarter here. Just seems like Wellington are needing to be a little bit more patient with the ball on attack to mm. get that ball in. Nothing's opening up on that first option. Great work from the in circle defence and great work from Tyra on the outside to actually pick up that pass. Oh, that was Lovely pick up there from Tanika. That was beautiful work and not going offside either. Much better um, lock on that pass there from the mid-quarter into Maru, just to get over the hands and the jump of Kyle Allen's. See the work that the shooters have to do away to actually open up and actually making the space available. take from Kyle from behind even and to be able to get that cleanly over Maru. Yeah. Beautiful. That's impressive. And, and that's an art. Uh, yeah. Has, Has he ever played basketball before? I'm not sure actually. <laughs> um, Kyle went to university in Dunedin and I played a bit of uh, club netball with him many oh. years ago. Um, I'd like to say that I taught him everything I knew, oh. I knew but um, <laughs> I think he had all that skill without 
Oh, you've got to take me. some creative yeah. time with Warren. Go on. And the smarts of Muddy Dillon there, being able to get him up in the air and you have a quick feed out and in. Karaitiana, the new goal attack for Wellington, Mairangi Karaitiana. She comes from a netball prowess of her father. Oh, tell us more. Yes, her father came in an awesome indoor men's netball player. Amazing, I've had opportunities to play against him. And we've always been on the losing side of anything that, that he's been a part of. So, it's been awesome. And she does it again. Pariso on circle edge, staying on circle edge, not going offside, and getting a tip. Kyle nearly turning inside out to receive that ball, but mm. got there. Wellington have been patient. She was open. Yeah. Safari could have given that ball. Mm. And that's, that's Wellington's style of being patient, resetting the ball, going the ball. Bit of frustration creaking in there between the Wellington team. Still tied up though, three and a half minutes. We're pausing here for a bit of change of round. Looks like quite a wholesale change actually. We'll see how this, the dust settles on this one. Mm. We have Tiana coming back into wing defence. Anna shifting from wing defence into wing attack. Kevin coming back out on court. Lots of wiping of the floor. I know. Him. And I have to say, I think Kevin Bell's been involved in most of it. <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. Good contest for the ball. Passionate. Passionate, Passionate that's right. about the game. Passionate about playing the game. And his experience. That's right. Kevin is an experienced player. I'll finish off there by Maru. from Sarah Michelle gave Owen no chance to contest for that one ball was placed perfectly into that space in front of him Harbour pulled ahead again here and we have a Harbour Harbour up <laughs> up by two points they do say the third quarter is the championship that's round that's right exactly And 
again, Owen comes through with a beautiful intercept. It's quite phenomenal. Mm, yeah. His uh, elevation. His athletic and his ability, ability to almost turn himself inside out, distort his body somehow to get around, um, get around players, get up over them, get the ball that you think is going directly into their hands. And it's clean. Yeah, that's right. Less than a minute to go, we are all tied up at 34 all. Position's going to be key. But not being too conservative with it either. Great patience and calmness from the harbour attack. That's the tied up one there. You were one point ahead of yourself. Oh. 35 points apiece. Lovely deflection there from the goal defender. Yeah, that's... Oh, we've got a turnover here. And we are at three-quarter time. There we have it. 35 points all. All tied up at three-quarter time. We'll see you for what is going to be a stunning final quarter. Kia ora Welcome back to the mixed grade A, A final um, for New Zealand Men's and Mixed Netball Association. Uh, we're out here at Netball Waitakere. We've got Wellington taking on North Harbour. We're tied at 35 goals apiece and we're going into the last quarter. How are one of these teams going to get the edge here, Junior? Yeah, look, calm, composure, making sure that they're actually scoring off their own, seeing the passes first and foremost, and then looking at their turnovers that they do get, that they will get, um, convert those turnovers that they do, and just full defensive team effort. Two captains of the each respective side going toe to toe there, mm. Maru Delamere and uh, Kyle Owens. Bit of a contest, but here we go. Play resumes, and Maru sinks the goal. We've been very fortunate. We've actually got a couple of uh, Northern Mystics players here. Uh, watching the game and Alyssa Pepper Toyava oh, wow. and Phil DeVoy and also some on Nathan who is due in a couple of weeks. Oh lovely. A Northern Stars player. Yeah. We also actually had Anna Harrison today and she I came thought I saw her this morning. Yeah, yeah lovely. She was here as hip well so you know we our tournament here we're very fortunate that we have supporters from our women's netball Definitely. community. <laughs> One of the strengths that Maru has is his hold. She holds so strong yeah. and for someone like Kyle to not be able to go into that space. Pretty tricky isn't it? Mm. Lovely line there from Safari. Great passing, but uh, great roll off the centre pass. Great pressure over the shot from Fitzpatrick. And great pick up of the rebound from Dan Rich. Pulling ahead here by two. 
They've got position with this inner path. Great feed from Kevin Bell into the back space into Muddy. Lovely lift of the ball there. It's the right thing to do. Nice change of direction from Safari Hines. I remember him when he was in the national under 20s team, so oh, really? young and with so much energy and to see him playing at this level, it's wonderful to see. He's an exciting and exceptional player to watch really. I just remember fondly watching him in the um, A grade men's final in September last year. He won uh, player of the match in that game at Wing yes. Attack. Um, which is no mean feat for a wing attack. It's a pretty tricky position to, you know, at the volume that you're touching the ball constantly to have a very low error rate, but mm. he does an exceptional job, runs fantastic lines. Mm. And then he went on to represent the New Zealand Open Men's team last year yeah. in the Constellation Cup right. and also in the Fast Five. So he had a busy schedule last yeah. year, but what, a, what an awesome talent. Yeah. from Safari, from Hines there. Chasing down every ball, willing everything for his team. Maru out of the circle, trying to break free. Dare I say it, Kevin Bell on the ground again. And we're asking for another white. <laughs> Might start calling him Matty Proud, one of the Swifts <laughs> players in the Australia that is infamous for uh, finding the floor on nearly every match. I think it's also that willingness to actually putting your body on the line oh, yeah, and exactly. actually going for every pass and every ball because yeah. what's at stake? It's a national title. That's right, exactly. So it's about you know that wanting you know what am I doing here? Putting my body all into it. Great for work and change of direction from Anna. Oh, just a little bit too far from Sarah Michelle. Good option though, uh, yep. to try to Great drag the eyes the other way. Yeah. But just not quite executed. Mm. Millimetres. Yeah. Now North Harbour have got the slightest margin here, up by four points. With ten minutes still to play though. That can be eaten away very quickly. Great pass, great feed. Under pressure from Pariso. Under that pressure to put the ball into, into the circle, into Matuku. That's outstanding. Another change here, Bell gone off and Tyra replacing at centre. <laughs> Everyone understands the terminology and what a short is. Great work from Corey. Oh, definitely. I don't think we could sing enough praises for all of our umpires over this Easter weekend. They, um, yeah, they're fantastically skilled. Many of them have just played, have umpired and officiated as many matches as these players have played, sometimes more. Um, so their bodies are feeling it too. Yeah. We acknowledge our umpires yeah. for their work and we thank them. Yeah. And they do all this voluntarily as well. Yes. We acknowledge all our umpires for being here this weekend and every national tournament we've had over the 20 years. That's right, we haven't really put a shout out to that yet, have we? This is the 20th national mixed tournament for New Zealand Men's and Mixed Netball Association. So, an absolute milestone to be back here in Auckland, um, celebrating it. 
2005 was the very first tournament of mixed nationals. Wow. And we started at Auckland Netball Centre many moons ago and we had five regions taking part. Yeah. And so to see um, the main driver of this tournament is Eddie Eric. He was the one, when he was on the New Zealand board, who actually pushed for and advocated for having a mixed tournament in our association. So I have nothing but huge respect for Eddie Eric and what he's done to right. bring this into the board over the years to actually bring this tournament into our association because look at where we are now, 40 teams this tournament, a record, yeah. 20 years, and to see long-term uh, friendships made over that period of time. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. What a legacy. And a bit of netball too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> North Harbour still holding the slightest of margins there by 43 points to 40. Wellington showing some excellent patience here, but some absolutely stunning uh, pressure on defence there from North Harbour too. And finally, Wellington convert that goal, bringing the margin to within two. Centre pass not taken in the centre third. Just a miscommunication yeah, from really the attack. Was as to who was going to take that pass from Tyra. We're familiar with this change. Kevin Bell coming back into centre. Ryan Grimmer into goal defence, replacing right. Dan Rich. I won't say it. I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a half minutes left. We've actually seen the, the tactical change used to good effect today. Yeah, definitely. You know, the game is no longer about seven players on court. It's actually about the full, the full team. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to how these new rules kind of. Um, play out in an international arena as well. Mm. Um, both of our men's and mixed um, formats coming up later in the year, trans Tasman, but also obviously with Silver Ferns um, oh, and their right. competitors. Absolutely, with ANZ Championship starting on the 13th of April. 
the, and, you know, the Premiership starting AMZ and then the National Netball League. It would be really good to see how these were uh, implemented. Yeah. Coach Ali'i Ba'aritua, up on her feet, great looking, oh, had a bit of a fall. Good chance the players take a breath here. Mm. Three and a half minutes. <laughs> Arbor hold the narrowest of margins. I wouldn't count anyone out at this point. Especially with a tip away like that. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't have errors like that, though. Yeah. Offside call. Again, that hold of Delamere. Yeah. Delamere has had an actually exceptional game. Mm. Very available for the mid quarters to feed mm. into and very accurate. Yeah. Wellington will be hustling for every ball right now. Defensive they need a pressure. turnover right now. Just cool, calm and collected. I'm not sure that we've seen Sarah Michelle put a shot up yet. No, I don't think we have. But again, that experience that actually that she brings to the game and just and a turnover from Tiana. That experience that Sarah Michelle brings to the game is huge. Now Wellington will work really hard defensively to hustle, to try and turn this ball over. They're just going to play the ball around, aren't they? Less than a minute on the clock to run. There goes the first team. <laughs> Less than 30 seconds to go. Harbour bench up on their feet. Looks like Harbour will retain their national title that they won in 2023 in Wellington. There we have it, Kamau Te Wihi. That is an excellent end to that game. Harbour just pipping Wellington at the post, 48 points to 46. Congratulations to all the players, coaches, managers, officials, umpires, benchies, um, and those that have pulled this tournament together. It's been absolutely a fantastic spectacle.
Fantastic. Fantastic way to end the tournament with a grand final like that. Hotly contested by both teams going for everything and great to see. It's hard when you have a have to have a win at the end of the day. Um, but also at the same time we acknowledge the level of play and the standard that was actually displayed this whole weekend. So congratulations from North Harbour. Great work Wellington. Push them all the way. Well done. Thank you very much and we'll see you in September for the Men's Nationals. See you then. Aki